Tired of dealing with annoying flies, fruit flies, and gnats in your home? The Zevo Flying Insect Trap is your ultimate solution. Don't wait. Check out the link in the video description now to get your Zevo Flying Insect Trap on Amazon and enjoy a bug-free home today. Welcome back to the Spoilerverse, where we dive deep into the latest twists and turns of reality TV. Today, we're shining a spotlight on a brewing battle that could change everything for Cody Brown and his ex-wives in the hit show Sister Wives. Just this week, Christine Brown made headlines by filing a lawsuit against Cody claiming unpaid child support. But that's just the tip of the iceberg. As we step into the new season, it's evident that Cody is not just dealing with legal troubles from Christine, but is also locked in a fierce showdown with Janelle. And the stakes are high as they confront their shared property on Coyote Pass. For fans tuning in, the timeline might feel a bit confusing. This season showcases events from late 2022, shedding light on family matters, including the emotional weight surrounding the loss of Cody and Janelle's son, Garrison. However, things heat up in the second episode, where we watch Janelle in Montana making plans to buy property with her daughter Maddie and son-in-law, Caleb. This news sends shockwaves through the Brown family, inciting mixed emotions. While Christine supports Janelle's independence, Robin fears losing another family member to the allure of a new life away from Arizona. In a revealing moment captured in the episode, Janelle candidly states, Cody and I have no communication. Our relationship is over, but we both still live in Flagstaff. This sentiment is echoed by Cody, who admits, I don't trust her anymore, so I don't give her any information. It's clear that the relationship has deteriorated significantly, and Janelle's frustrations are mounting. As we dig deeper into their family dynamics, it becomes evident that Cody's relationships with his children are fracturing. Janelle holds out hope for Cody to mend things with his kids, asserting, Cody can still fix his relationships with his children, yet, the likelihood of that happening seems slim. The drama intensifies with Maddie taking a firm stance against Cody, calling him a fish for gossip. As tensions rise, Robin hopes to encourage Cody to reach out, but the ball appears to be in Maddie's court as well. Most compelling is the family's former sanctuary, Coyote Pass, intended as a communal living space but now a point of contention. Janelle wants her share, but Cody is playing hardball, refusing to disclose any plans. We will pay off the property when the time comes, he asserts, feeling besieged by constant gossip from his ex-wives. Janelle, frustrated by Cody's refusal to cooperate, reveals she is ready to bring in legal representation to claim her rightful share, as their marriage has reached a bitter impasse. And amidst this turmoil, Robin expresses her discontent, voicing, if Janelle moved, it would devastate me. We can only wonder what is going through Cody's mind as he navigates these chaotic waters. Cody himself feels wronged, stating, I'm not playing the victim card, yet he does seem to lament being excluded from his own family dynamic. As we reach the end of this episode, the air is thick with unresolved tension, especially as Mary seeks a spiritual release from Cody. In a shocking moment, Cody admits he was bored with Mary, illustrating just how complex his relationships have become. So will Janelle's legal action force Cody to face the music, and can he truly reconcile with his children before more ties are cut? Stay tuned because this spiraling saga is far from over. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell for all the latest updates from the Spoilerverse.